Loving Rochester and I hope you're having a great day today. Thank you for joining me for another segment of Karen's Corner. We are doing inspirational tips and ideas to implement into your life one day at a time. 365 Ways to Change Your Life. I've been going over this book uh, by Suzanne Summers. It's a great book. I highly recommend you read it and um, she's got some great ideas in here and I just think that this could be really fruitful to a lot of us uh, just to listen you know I don't um, I'm not asking you guys to agree with me I'm just asking you to be open-minded and you know maybe one idea that I give you is something that you can implement and that you um, you know you resonate with and hopefully it can add something wonderful and great to your life in order to make your life better I believe that we're all here to make ourselves better. Uh, that is our journey in life. Uh, you know, each day we have a new chance to do something else to create a more positive life for not only us, but everybody that we come in contact with and frankly, anybody in the universe. If we project love outwards, the love will come back to us. And just, I think love is the really the religion that we all need to focus on. And if we realize that we're all the same and we can love each other, what a great place this would be. Anyway, thank you again for joining me on the 16th day of 365 Ways to Change Your Life. And let's go over day 16. Each night when you go to bed, review your day. Did you succeed or fail? The reality is that probably both occurred. In my quest to be my best self, I find this daily exercise to be vitally important. Was I kind? Did I use each moment of the day to make myself better and thereafter affect the world positively? Or did I revert to the old behaviors and patterns? If so, what caused me to slip? Usually I can roll the day back in my mind and that moment I went off track and see what I was reacting to, uh, to either some stress or something on a personal note or a professional level. Maybe I was having an argument with my husband, Alan, or one of my business dealings was going badly. For whatever reason it caused me to react in these negative ways or with anger or aggression, instead of understanding that I could turn these opportunities into positive experiences, I chose to act immaturely. In doing so, I accomplished nothing. In the quiet of the night, I think about these things, understanding that my success of the day moved me forward and my failures were my opportunities to learn and grow. Thought for the day. Each day is another chance to get it right. Today, I am going to concentrate on kindness, caring, accountability, decency, and love. I realize as a human being, I make mistakes. But as I grow, I use each bump in the road as a springboard for learning every day. I will try harder and harder to be the best person I can be, but I will not chastise myself when I fail. Failure is part of the journey, and that I am grateful for. You know, nobody's perfect, and we all have our ups and downs throughout the day. The goal is to really try to be more positive all the time and to react less to circumstances that are around us. Um, you know, I know in my past and what I've seen in other people is that we're so quick to react because some emotion is triggered within us. Uh, whether it just be a pattern of behaviors that we've done in the past. But a lot of things that, you know, we really don't need to react as quickly or as negatively or, you know, with aggression or anxiety as we do. Um, you know, it, it goes back again to what I've suggested before is meditation. Meditation quiets your mind down and it helps you to process your feelings and emotions uh, in, a, in a more effective way. 
And for me, personally, it really helped me to be able to slow down in my reactions to how I react to people. I used to be one that you could trigger like immediately and I would just, ah, you know, whether I wanted to fight you or, or you know, I would start crying or whatever. You know, um, I was pretty triggered by people and allowed, you know, I allowed people to get to me um, you know, which, which isn't good, you know, a lot of times people aren't really trying to get your goat, maybe they are, but we don't need to respond so quickly and so negatively to people, we just, you know, take what they're saying with a grain of salt, uh, you know, let it really focus inside yourself and, and resonate, what were they saying, how are they really saying this to me, and usually reacting in a slow, peaceful manner is the best way to react. We don't need to fly off the handle. We don't need to be anxious about things. Uh, you know, and we don't need to fight with people. People aren't always out to get us. Sometimes I think our minds are our worst enemy and they believe that everybody's out to get us when in reality it's just not the case. So, um, you know, I really think that if we can look at you know, the positives and maybe write down ways, you know, in your journal, this way I reacted positively and this was positive and this was positive. And then maybe write down the things where, where you didn't do so well, where you maybe reacted in a fashion that wasn't wholesome and loving and kind and think, how could I have done that better? And then next time when a similar situation comes up, you can work on focusing on how, you know, what you've written down is ways to respond better. Maybe I should slow down. Maybe I should walk away. Maybe, you know, I should speak peacefully and take a deep breath and wait eight seconds before I say anything. Um, you know, there have been times in my life where somebody, you know, I'm not quite sure how to respond and, and I'll be like, you know what, I really can't respond to that right now. I think I need to think about it and I'll get back to you because maybe initially I may have responded in a negative fashion and I really don't want to show that where I need to go back and, and get into my own inner peace and say to myself, okay, what really happened? What's going on? What am I thinking? How do I feel about this? And how do I want to respond? What is the best response? Usually if we can walk away from something and come back to it, you know, 20 minutes later, an hour later, two hours later, we won't be as, you know, hopped up and excited and angry or whatever it is, you know, that triggered us. We will calm down and we'll find a better way to react to situations. So, um, I think it's really a great idea to look at how, you know, what am I doing, what, what didn't go so well today? And then work on those each and every day and you'll find as you go on and you consciously work on these things, you will have less and less experiences of where, you know, maybe I didn't react to that very well. Um, you know, nobody's perfect. We're not going to have days where we don't react to something maybe a little negatively. Even when we're trying to be the best we can be, there are going to be times where we fall off the horse, you know. Uh, but we got to get back up there and work on being better, doing better, and, you know, just, just loving. Be loving and kind to each other, to yourself, too. You know, we need to be kind to ourselves. We need to love ourselves. Nobody's going to love us the way that we love ourselves. Nobody's going to be as kind to us as we can be to ourselves. So just remember, you're important. Everybody else is important. And our love for ourselves is most important. That way we can properly show love to everybody else. Thank you again for joining me. This is Karen Lambert with Loving Rochester and Karen's Corner. I hope you have a great day. Thank you for listening to the 16th day of 365 Ways to Change Your Life. Thank you.